morning, ma'am. Can I help you with anything? No, thank you. That won't be necessary. All right. Um. <clears throat> well, your total is fifty-nine ninety-seven. Would you like to donate those three cents and round it up to an even sixty? Yes, and I'll be paying for this in cash. No receipt. Alrighty then, sixty dollars even. Have a nice day and come back soon. Oh, I will have a nice day. You put me in a cage. You're a hungry little monster, aren't you? Wouldn't want to waste what you had, would you now, Pippi? It's been three weeks, and Pip Anderson and the others are still out there unfound. Four people are dead. At this point, we have a serial killer on our hands, boys. An ostrich. We need answers. I'm sorry, boss, but we just can't get all of the answers that we need out of two pieces of evidence. A knife with unmatched DNA and Pip Anderson's medication. What is that all supposed to mean? I know, we've talked to all the witnesses. There doesn't seem to be anyone that knows any information. Is there anyone that we haven't got in contact with? Anyone related to Pip Anderson or any of the other victims that may know what happened? The only person we haven't gotten in contact with is Sophia Anderson, but she legally changed her name to Sophia Tang after she was adopted by her foster parents. She hasn't been spotted anywhere. No one knows where her last place of res residence is. She's 15 and a twin to Pip Anderson. All right, I want everyone on search for Sophia Tang. We need to find her. She may be the only one that can give us any answers to this situation. I'm gonna need a warrant and put a label out for her arrest. I want her alive, people. Officer Taylor, a note came for you. Ah. Call forensics right away. We need to send this note to get tested. Test it for fingerprints, check the handwriting, and most importantly, get the DNA tested on this foot. I'm sorry, sir, the what? Whoever wrote this letter attached a footnote of sorts. Sir, the results from the lab have come in. They're on line one. Thank you. Sheriff Taylor, this is the lab calling. The DNA of the foot matches the DNA of Dane Tallman, one of the victims during the murders. And we did not get a match back on the handwriting in the letter or any DNA samples on the letter itself. But we did get a match on the DNA on the knife. The DNA belonged to Pip Anderson. Thank you. James. Yes, Sheriff Taylor, how can I help you? Make our top priority finding Sophia and make our second priority finding Pip Anderson. I need you to re-interview with anyone that had contact with her. Yes, sir. Can you please state your name and your relation to Pip Anderson? 
Yes, my name is Eliza Jumper, and I was a patient with Pip Anderson. All right, I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions regarding Pip Anderson. Okay. Do you believe Pip Anderson had any intent to harm Tom, her caretaker? I don't know. I didn't have that kind of relationship with Pip. Uh, she seemed pretty calm most of the time. I don't think that she would do something like that, but again, I don't know her very well. Okay. Do you believe that Pip Anderson had a plot to murder Tom, her caretaker? Um, I don't think so, but I, I don't know her like that. Okay, and last question. Do you feel that there's anything that we need to know going on with the investigation? Honestly, I didn't want to say anything before because I figured I didn't want to snitch or anything, but Mike always saw Pip as more than just a friend. And something went down with the two of them before she disappeared. I don't know, maybe he... She said something that he didn't like. All I know is that he's here and now she's gone. I don't know, maybe just some information. I know I didn't really have the best terms with Pip. But I still cared, you know? I still wanted to- I didn't want her dead. Thank you, Eliza. You may head back to your room. Okay, thanks. Bye! Please state your name and your relations to Pip Anderson. My name is Jack, and I was a friend of Pip's. Okay, um... We're just gonna ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Do you believe that Pip Anderson had any intent on harming Tom, her caretaker? Um, I don't believe so. No. Pip has always been kind of a calm person. I wouldn't tell- I would never picture her hurting anyone. Even though all those things with, went down with her parents, she wasn't violent. Okay. Do you believe that Pip Anderson had a plot to murder Tom, her caretaker? No, I don't believe so. Is there any other information that you believe we should know? Pip was special. And there's a girl, Eliza. She didn't like Pip. I don't know, I just feel like maybe she wanted her gone. And she wanted someone to get hurt. I don't know, I'd look into her if I were you. Alright, thank you. Can I head back to my room now? Yes, of course, we'll call you back if we need any further questions. Okay.